Hello everyone, Creamer Abel here, and today I figured I would uh, make a little update to the watermill thing that I posted a few weeks ago, well, I guess a month ago, but uh, here we have the old design that I used, uh, and this is the most efficient uh, way to have it set up if, you're, uh, if you want it to be unmanned. Um, each row uh, produces one EU per tick. Each uh, water mill produces 0.25. So and here we have an array of uh, 20. So that's uh, putting out uh, 5 EU per tick. Now here, and th this takes up a lot of space, as you can tell. It takes up like a uh, Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like a 7x7 seven seven area, kind of. Uh, so I figure, I was thinking about it, and this right here, uh, in that same, well, less than 7, this takes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7x5 seven area. Uh, you can put three of these each. Uh, array of uh, the 20 does 4.26 EU per tick. So if we have the array of 3 in the same amount of space that we can put that little thing, uh, it gives 12.78 EU per tick. So uh, I figured if some people might be strapped for space, so if you do something like this, uh, and you have an excess of water mills, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, let's go ahead and hook them up so you can kind of see what they're... Uh, I preset this uh, MFE here uh, so that uh, I didn't have to do it while I was uh, recording. But let's go ahead and set the single one up and compare it to the, uh, this one here. So this one already up to uh, 500, and at 500, this one should be at 426, which I, since I placed this one before that one, uh, definitely got to 426 around the same time that this one would have gotten to 500. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, anyway. Let's go ahead and break those. Let's uh, let's go ahead and set this one down. Let's set these in, and then uh, go ahead and merge them up. Face the output into this image. Oh, that doesn't matter. Now, oh, I think I just crashed it. All right, yeah. So these ones are slowly sending their power into this here. So this could probably be an MFSU be fine. Well, yeah, either way, get back up there. This is only at almost 2,000. This one's already past 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So by the time this one reaches like uh, 5,000, this one here will be at. 12.78, well, 12,780. So yeah, if you're uh, strapped for cash, or space, this uh, 7x5 array will do you well compared to this uh, 7x7. But if you, say, play with the uh, Minecraft version, and water mills cost a lot more than just wood in a generator, uh, these take aluminum and a generator. Uh, let's look that up for you. Ah. Silly water mills. Uh, yeah, let's look at the recipe. So yeah, the uh, and aluminum is not really that hard to get anyway. Uh, so even so, you get two per uh, the. Uh, non 
Greg Tech version. It's like sticks and uh, wood. So, yeah, anyway, thought I'd just uh, show you guys that. I guess I'll show you how to build it really quick as well. This one's already up to 20,000. It's only at five, six thousand. So yeah, definitely conserves conserves the space. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how to build this thing. It's very very simple. Just do two down, oh, and then I'll any five by three area here. I'll just show you how to do do, do uh, one unit for it. Go ahead and place uh, our cobble line, our low, ultra low current cable line here. You can build this as high as you want, it doesn't matter. You can go to from red rock to skybox, it doesn't matter. I think, don't quote me on that. And then I like to put this up here. Let's do an array of 10 though. So there's one, two, three, four, eh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be ten. Yeah, that's ten. And drop that down. Alright, so I got twenty there, which will give you the uh, four point two six. EU per tick. Uh, this one down at the bottom, these two down at the bottom give uh, 0.23 per tick. These all in the middle give 0.21. I think I said this right. The bottom gives 0.23, the middle gives 0.21, then the top one gives uh, 0. 2-2 two, two per tick. So yeah, that's the uh, numbers there for you. Then to uh, drench this in water, we can, yeah, we can put it right here. Just cover that up and build a skirt around it. Of course, this is easy to build with a uh, creative mode, but it's simple and uh, so I don't need those there. And uh, non creative as well. So we can just pop down the water, that all fills in, and you just break out the dirt. And they get covered. And water. And you don't have to worry about filling in the spaces like you do with this one. Just does a skirt of water. And you can go ahead and connect your MFE, which I think they work the best for these things, but yeah. And you can just put them in rows like this one. And I got a text message or email or something there. But yeah, just thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, I was kind of thinking about it. Um, it's a little taller, but definitely not as wide as that thing there. Anyway, this is getting too long, so uh, I'll let you guys go with that. And if you like it or want me to show something else, let me know. I'll do my best. Uh, I've gotten definitely gotten more used to. Uh, the beast the past month or so. So, I'll see you guys later. Dreamy Rebel, signing out. Take care.